this is an example of uh, ovarian mature teratoma. It is a mature germ cell tumor, which is often composed of structures from all three germ cell layers, so ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. It is very common ovarian tumor, and if it is mature, and if it is not associated with malignant transformation of uh, one of the component, uh, then it is considered to be benign. Microscopically, and uh, sometimes also grossly, we can see all sorts of uh, different tissue types. Practically anything can happen in this tumor, and it is uh, kind of a good histological exercise. So let's have a look if we can recognize what we see here. Skin is very commonly present in the mature teratoma. Sometimes we can find only skin with skin appendages. In that case, uh, this tumor can be called a dermoid cyst. It is usually a cystic tumor filled uh, with keratinaceous debris. So if we zoom in, here we can recognize the normal epidermis or keratinized stratified squamous epithelium uh, with the basal layer, stratum spinosum, and keratinization. The cyst or the cystic space is filled with keratinaceous debris and hair. Here we have multiple follicles or hair follicles with a sebaceous glands. Here we see the basal part of the hair follicle with papillary mesenchymal body or the hair bulb. And here we have the outer root shed cells with this clear cytoplasm. This is another papillary mesenchymal body or the basal part of the hair follicle. We go deeper. Here we have the adipose tissue. Here we have some nerves, the blood vessel with erythrocytes in the lumen. Uh, this is smooth muscle cell component and other nerves here. Another blood vessel. We have something that resembles small glands, maybe eccrine type of glands. And uh, this is the ganglion or the nerve ganglion with these large ganglion cells in the perineurium um, <clears throat> on the periphery. And, uh, this actually looks like the brain tissue, and if we go closer, we can really recognize some uh, neuron or these triangular shaped cells in the adjacent neuropil, and uh, the cells, and the other cells, those are astrocyte oligodendroglial cells, and uh, these small, those are microglial cells. So this, uh, this is the gray matter. Uh, or central nervous system component. Here we have something that looks like the cartilage um, with the lacunar cells. And if we go farther, here we see the bone tissue. And in between the cartilage and mature bone, we have uh, the area of uh, enchondral ossification. So this is the process of uh, uh, the bone formation as we see it in the in normal body. So here we have mature lamellar bone with these osteocytes uh, inside and uh, osteoblasts on the periphery. And here we have again some adipose tissue, some fibrous tissue, blood vessels, nerve structures. This is another bone. Here we have another gray matter on the central nervous system are the ganglion cells in the nerve ganglion and uh, and this is actually the choroid plexus or the papillary like structure aligned by one layer of cuboidal to cylindric uh, benign looking bland cell and if we go farther here we see something that looks like respiratory type of epithelium and it really is so pseudostratified epithelium with ciliated surface And here we have lymphoid tissue uh, with the fo follicles or lymphoid follicles with a small activated germinal center composed of centroblasts and centrocytes. So this resemble maybe nasopharynx uh, with the tonsillar lymphoid tissue. Here we have again the smooth muscle component, some lymphocyte, blood vessels, and uh, loose fibrous tissue here. In the differential diagnosis, it is important to exclude immature teratoma.
which uh, has um, immature component. Uh, most commonly it is immature neuroepithelium. If the teratoma is immature, it is completely different tumor with uh, worse prognosis. And we also need to exclude malignant, malignant transformation of the mature teratoma. Uh, sometimes we can find the squamous cell carcinoma uh, of the skin uh, component in the tumor. Uh, otherwise, uh, this tumor has good prognosis and it is considered to be benign. Thanks for, wa uh, thanks for watching.